Hey guys, it's Renee. So for this hoop earrings, I'm going to be using some porcelain clay. Feel free to use polymer clay as well. I just prefer to work with it because it dries with air. You can make a bunch of different uh, like shapes with it because it's really soft. You get a lot product. It's really easy to work with. This is what it looks like. To make the shape of my earrings though, I'm going to be using a couple of highlighters and I'm using two because you can barely tell the difference but they are thinner on the top and like thicker on the bottom so I just want both my earrings to be the same size I'm just going to grab some clay and I'm going to roll it first in between my hands and then my desk rolling it until it's like the shape of like a really thin snake just like this then I'm going to fold it in half cut that so I'm just going to wrap each clay around my highlighters. I'm wrapping them on like the middle part, cutting the excess, making those ends meet, and then just sticking them. I'm going to be making the same thing for the other one. Just make sure though, they are both like in the same spot. So they both dry in the same size. Uh, this kind of clay is really soft when you start working with it, but it gets harder as it has contact with air and so I'm just going to wait for one minute or two until uh, I can touch it and move around. I'm going to release them from my highlighters and let them dry. I'm going to be then using my X-Acto knife and I'm going to make the cuts of the hoop earrings. First one and then I'm going to make the second cut. If you were looking at the clock this would be kind of like a three o'clock. Placing my cutted one on top of the other one just so that I got them in the same spot. I'm going to make sure that they look as similar as possible. I'm going to take Take a couple of ear posts and this is like a clip from another project like other earrings that I have on my channel that it did the same to those earrings so I'm just going to be using that to show you what I did I just cut them in mini squares but for this ones I'm going to be using this super glue gluing my ear posts to my earrings and using my glue holder I recently shared what this is and where you can find them I'm going to be painting them to paint this I'm going to be using this darker teal a Marta sort real light this shade of like teal I just want this to be a hair lighter so for that I'm going to be mixing this with this other teal that is lighter until I have like the color that I like and then I'm going to be painting the whole thing all around giving this a few coats and letting it dry between coats this is what they look like I love them I have a few other like hoop earrings DIYs wise like showing different sizes of them I just wanted to share with what object you can get this medium size hoops this pair I really like to wear pretty lightweight I really like the shade of like teal that this two created it's like a vibrant statement but subtle one I find this size is perfect for when you want to add a tiny bit of color on your outfit so much fun to make and wear and I really like them hopefully you like them too if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know subscribe for more stuff that I have on my channel and share this thanks so much for watching I'll talk to you later and take care bye